Hey guys, so today I'm also going to do the Classy and Sassy subscription review. And <laughs> if y'all have been watching my videos, you know I've been waiting, waiting for this subscription. I ordered in September, it is the beginning of November, and I just got it maybe two days ago, a day or two ago. And I've been going back and forth with the seller. I try not to be a difficult person. I'm a subscription reviewer. I pay for all my own subscriptions, but I don't do collaborations with the um, creators of the subscriptions. But I expect you to be timely as a, as a seller to be timely and send your box when you say you're going to send it and don't take people's money and then don't send them the product. So we kind of had it out. Not really. I tried to be very polite about it as I could, but in September I contacted, she's like, no, you're not going to get it till October. Okay, fine. That's, that's fine. Sometimes you order a subscription and you're not going to get it until the following month. That is very common. So it's fine with that. So I waited till October and waited and waited and it never came. I got all my other subscriptions. We've done all the other reviews and classy and sassy never came. So I contacted the seller, long story short, contacted the seller. Uh, she apparently said that she was um, out of the country for a week and she hadn't even seen my order because it got lost in the gift orders and she never saw it because it was a gift order. So I don't know how Create Joy works on gift orders. I do gift orders so that I can do one order of something rather than getting locked into monthly or six months or whatever because I want to try different ones every month. I do gift orders and so apparently she said because it was a gift order she never received it or never saw it in the order so anyway that happened and so classy and sassy has now been moved to november for the review because she never sent it in october so um this is a theme box theme bag i want to say because it's a bag um it says violet rain box and our exclusive picks inside get ready to be a, a I want to say that says obsessed lost <laughs> I am not retarded I swear um no offense to people with mental issues I don't mean it like that um I don't know what that word is because the cursive is so odd oh that's really weird I don't know if it says it almost looks like flossed, glossed, not obsessed because that's with two O's. I don't know. Anyway, get ready to be something. <laughs> Weird cursive on this bag. Um, it says keep calm and go shopping, which, yeah, that could be my motto. I'm trying to cut back on that, but I am one of those shoppers. Oh, by the way, there should be... There should be some extra items in here because she did say because she forgot to send the box in October or the subscription in October. She was going to send an extra item. So we will see if there's some extras in here. I was overlooked. I forgot him. And I'm a reviewer. And okay, so maybe it's not the actual theme. Violet Rain is the boutique. So this comes from a boutique. So I assume she's a boutique owner kind of like um the western one I did with the leather earrings can't think of the name right now it'll come to me but they were also a boutique western co western partners co yes they were also a boutique store and that had a subscription thing so some this cute little gold paper and let's see what we have here hopefully it's something amazing because I'm really disappointed she forgot me Okay, wow, this is odd. So I want to say this is a keychain that I think I just broke <laughs> already. Wow. Okay, usually I don't struggle this much, you guys. Um, okay, so I'm thinking this is a keychain that you can, like, I don't know, do this and have it in your hand. That's kind of cool, I guess. It's got like little accessories on it. Um, okay, that's different. I've definitely never seen anything like it, although I think I just broke it already. A little clasp, which is great. Um, yeah, this is like a keychain, like a little hoop keychain. That's different. I've never seen anything quite like that. This says new mix, 
and I'm assuming these are leggings. Oh, how basic. <laughs> of course. So, I don't do very many clothes subscription boxes because they're usually very expensive if, if they're not. I mean, it's very, you know, possible you're going to get some really basic stuff like black leggings. Let me see if she actually put them in medium, though, because I told her medium. And, um, okay, it doesn't say, from what I can tell. Yeah, it doesn't say. Oh, it just says one size, so she just gave me a one size item. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, you guys, so this is a small by Corey, which I guess is a brand in her boutique. Oh my god, it's hideous. <laughs> um, wow, this is, wow. Oh my gosh, I'm so disappointed, you guys. Um, okay, so for one thing, this thing is huge. The sweater is huge. I don't know if you can see how big it is, but on, it's, it's that so small, but this is gonna, like, eat me alive. Um, <laughs> I thought she was sending something extra, too. Like, this is just two pieces and an accessory. I don't think that's extra. Um, yeah, so it's like this weird mustard color. I don't know if I can show it to you where you can kind of see. It's like a tan with a weird, like, olivey mustard color. Not attractive on me at all. Um, this would look nice on, like, a dark, maybe a dark-skinned person. Um, because me, like, anything that's, um, <laughs> I'm just kind of blown away right now. I'm so irritated. Um, anything that's kind of like tan, Barbie pink, uh, any very light pinks, tans, um, olives, <laughs> yellows, does not look good on, you know, vampire pale skin. Does not look good. This is not going to look good on me. I mean, if you can see against my skin tone, it's just bad. Um, I'm either going to have to re-gift this to someone that this would look good on or that I think would look good on or I'm going to have to, I don't know, just wear it to like sleep in because it's hideous. Oh guys, I'm so disappointed. Wow. Okay. So yeah, so she sent me, I'll, I'll put the price in the description. I don't think it was like, I want to say it was in the $30 range, but I may be wrong. I hope I'm wrong because this is not worth $30. Um, a pair of leggings that probably came from the Dollar General and this hideous like olive tan shirt that's way too big but somehow small. It's like a blanket. So yeah, I guess the only thing I really like out of this is this weird keychain thing that's already broken after messing with it one time. That's kind of cool. I could probably use this for my keys because I'm always, you know, about on the verge of losing my keys. You can't miss this. Um, <laughs> It's a little too big to be used as a bracelet, but that would have been kind of cool as a bracelet. And I can use the black leggings for work. Um, my uniform at my current job is all black, so I can use these black leggings for work, so that's something. <sighs> but I'm just really disappointed in the shirt, and I'm disappointed with the customer service. She did apologize. She was very polite. She was very apologetic. Um, she wasn't rude at all, but she was just kind of like, you know, didn't seem to have it together. And then when she sent me this, she said she'd be sending extra. I don't know if the accessory is supposed to be the extra or the shirt, what, but I'm disappointed. I mean, I was hoping that after all that, she'd send me something really cool. And I'm just not, you know, thrilled with the selection, but you know what, um, I give her props for trying to handle it gracefully and with a good attitude. She apologized. She said, you know, this is what happened. I never saw the order. I'll get to it as soon as I get back in town. So I give her, um, some, I give her some credit for that. <laughs> as an eBay seller, I can say, you know, it, part of, you know, being successful is how you handle situations. So I give her a little credit for that, but overall I wasn't really impressed. Honestly, this is just you know, not my style at all, and it would not look cute on me. I'm gonna try it on after this, and kind of maybe in the description let you know what I, if I decided it would work for me or not. I just don't think it will. Maybe around the house, or I may gift this for a Christmas gift uh, for maybe one of my friends with darker skin that will look cute on. I don't know, but yeah, so, oh, sad face, but hey, this is why I do these so that I can find out for you. <laughs> 
what these subscriptions are like. I know it's on the cheaper side for a clothing subscription, so there's that. But I can't really say I suggest it for you guys um, to try because it was just too much of a nightmare with the shipping, kind of like how well it was a, ship, an, a shipping nightmare. So anyway, yeah, um, let me know what you think, what you thought of the shirt, <laughs> um, the accessories that were sent, your overall impression, but let me know. As always, I love you guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Mwah.